So when I first arrived, I'm in inner city Dublin, and I can hardly understand the English that they're speaking to me. I know it's English, you know, theoretically, I know in my head that that's what they're saying to me, but I can't understand a word. Um, and it didn't help that my companion was a Geordie. Um, Geordie is, is from uh, Newcastle upon Tyne. It's in England, north eastern England. And, um, and that accent is a mix of English, Scottish, Welsh, Irish, and a few other things. I don't know. What, I don't, but he, he was difficult to understand as well. And, um, and so I just felt lost the first two weeks. But it's not like learning a new language. It was still English. Um, and so, you know, within a couple weeks, you get used to it. And, um, and it was interesting, actually, when I moved to my next area, which was in Galway on the west coast of Ireland in the Republic, um, it had a very different accent that I had to readjust to. And again, it was about two week learning curve and, and I finally got it. And, um, and then I heard someone speak from Northern Ireland and I thought they were American because I could understand them so clearly um, that the difference there, I, you know, um, uh, between Northern Ireland and, and the Republic, well, I, I had just gotten so used to the Belfast accent that I mistook it for an American. <laughs> so, um, so first time there, I, um, um, let's see. Well, it rains. <laughs> I'm from Arizona. That was a bit different for me. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we just hit the ground running. Um, it was really exciting. My, my first day there, we, we dropped off my bags and then we went to an appointment, um, instantly. And, um, and, uh, and, and so that's, that's just kind of how uh, the rest of the mission was, is we were just always going, going, going. And uh, that, that's really exciting.